Welcome back to Iron Completionist, the series where I am aiming to fill the collection log and do all of the completable, non-repeatable content in RuneScape on my maxed Iron Man. Killing nearly 20,000 wyverns really laid out the groundwork for future PVM by giving me plenty of seeds to make into prayer potions and super restores. With that grind over, this account is now going to be my main focus and the log slots are going to start rolling in. I mentioned there are plenty of grinds and bosses that I've never tackled before and in this video we're going to start on some of them. Starting this one off with a guaranteed collection log slot, maybe two if we get lucky, over here at Hispori. Uh, this is something I actually have yet to do on this account and the time is going to be absolutely terrible because I forgot to bring darts or something to tag the flowers, but that's alright. Wow, 129 is really terrible. Alright, well let's see what we get from it. Guaranteed collection log slot. Two Iasaur seeds. Hey, you know what? A Snapdragon seed is actually pretty good too. That's a pretty good Hasfori kill. We're starting this one off at 259 unique collection log slots filled, which thanks to that last clip has already been pushed up to 260. I'm always trying to find something to AFK in my downtime, and that activity on this account right now is going to be Amethyst. Now, I've been here before on this account. In fact, I have 86,000 Amethyst arrows from when I was hoping to get a Tebow. Surprise, recurring theme on my accounts. I didn't get it. But... Amethyst starts exist in the game now, so I figured I'd come back here to try and get some better ammunition for my blowpipe. However, the blowpipe just isn't as good as it used to be. Since it's nerf, a couple of things have taken over, mostly being the Tebow and the Bow of Farinden. I'm just going to call it the Bofa because that's just easier. So I want to start working on getting both of those items. The easier one to start with is, of course, the Bofa. However, I don't have Song of the Elves done, so I think that's our first big goal of this video. Song of the Elves. But first, every day... Tons of new games get created, so how are you ever supposed to know which ones are good? Let me save you some time and recommend a great one and also introduce the sponsor of today's video, Hero Wars. Hero Wars is an online role-playing action game with a huge variety of PvP and PvE game modes. If you want to play through some PvE content, which is my general go-to, the campaign features a rich storyline with powerful boss fights. While completing missions, you can collect loot to upgrade all of your favorite champions. The game also has more than 50 unique heroes with their own cool abilities, so you can combine and assemble your own different teams to take on the arena or traverse the endless tower. But the real kicker is when you go online. You can create guilds, fight with other players, and constantly raise your rank. So join now and get a super chest with a secret hero, 600 emeralds, and 30,000 gold. Scan the QR code on screen or download the game from the link in the description. Oh, and the best part? You don't even have to play Hero Wars on just your phone, because it's also available to run in a web browser. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in game. Now the beginning of this series is going to be so fun, it's just going to be the best part, because everything is going to give me collection log slots so easily. Like finishing this random event, I just got two new log slots, the zombie boots and the zombie shirt. All right, time to knock out Song of the Elves. Took me like 45 minutes to get all of the required items, but we finally have them, so let's knock this out. I think this is like the seventh time I've done this quest now, or sixth, and man, it does not get any faster. It still takes like a good three hours to get done, maybe a little less if you're like full tryharding, but Happy to have it done because Pryptonus unlocks a lot of new potential collection log slots. Things from Zolcano to Gauntlet to even some things people might not remember about like the Enhanced Crystal Chest, which is probably going to be the bane of this account. But that is Song of the Elves completed, the first big goal of this video. And there's one more thing I want to do before I move on to the Gauntlet. This isn't the thing I wanted to do, I promise, but I just happened to see this Crystal Impling and I'm going to have to catch these as much as I can because one, they give pretty good stuff, but two, there's actually an item from them that is in the collection log, so gonna have to probably go on a crystal impling hunt at some point. It's time we take on the toughest enemy that I've ever fought on this account, a level 2 rabbit. A lot of you guys are probably aware of this, but maybe some of you aren't. This level 2 rabbit actually has 2000 HP and slaps, so I have to run it around the room like Zilliana in order to get a actual technically free collection log slot if I manage to kill it, so I've never actually done this before. Let's give it a shot. Outrageous defense, max hit of 40, and 2000 HP aside, this thing is also a monster because of the fact that it's a one by one thing that I'm trying to kite in a circle around the room, which is incredibly difficult because I am going to misclick like crazy. Oh, that might be it. It's dead! Oh, please count even though I'm not in there. Oh, yes, it still counts. Look at it on the ground, the crystal grail. You know, I, I ate my words so hard on that one. I, I said this would be easy. This was not easy. This took so long. I think it was here for like 40 minutes killing this stupid freaking rabbit, man. 
No wonder this thing is still worth 400k. It takes that long to kill constantly. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to use this tab right here as my completionist tab. This is where I'm going to put everything that I can't really store in my POH, but is still completionist items that I kind of want to hold on to. And even though it might look like there's a ton of stuff in here and I'm just going to be in the words of a lot of you guys repeating content that I've already done. I promise I have barely even scratched the surface of this game on this account before I quit. So I'm excited to do a lot of grinds, new and old. With that monstrous rabbit slain and my first regular gauntlet completed, I now have access to the corrupt gauntlet, which means I can finally start chasing the Bofa. To those of you who might not know, the Bofa is basically a superior version of the crystal bow. And with the nerf to the blowpipe, it's now the go-to for a lot of PVM content that uses range. Using it in combination with Crystal Armor, which also drops from the gauntlet, gives it a substantial accuracy and damage increase, which make it an extremely accurate and strong weapon, even against bosses with high defense. It comes from the Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed, which is a 1 in 400 rate from successfully completing the Corrupted Gauntlet. Basically, this grind might take a while, but seeing as this is one of the most powerful items in the game, it's definitely going to be worth it. First try, first completion. I have a lot of rust to shake off here and a lot to learn because I don't have a whole lot of experience in the Corrupted Gauntlet, and I'm going to have to be here for a very long time in order to get this Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed. However, our first successful completion of course gives us the Gauntlet Cape, which is a guaranteed slot, and the rewards from here are pretty decent as well. Yeah, behind the scenes, there's probably going to be a lot of this happening as well. Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran, that's right, I've done 10 kills and I'm now a veteran. I think at some point I probably will start working on these combat tasks, though. I don't know when I'll get around to completing the Elite ones, which is what that was ranked as for some reason. So far no drops, but I'm nowhere near the drop rate for anything yet, so not that surprising. Got myself this elite clue, so I'm gonna knock that out real quick, and while well, looking back at some of my clips and wondering why the gauntlet's been so hard, I realized I've been using the bow on the accurate attack style instead of rapid, which is a huge DPS loss. Corrupted gauntlet is notoriously slow, so I'm gonna try and speed it up by doing the more risky method of only preparing tier 1 armor. You take way more damage and it's way more punishing for making mistakes, but as you can see it's already resulted in a new PB of 8 minutes 32 seconds. Ah uh, yes, I'm getting so much better that I forget to cook my fish now. Talent. So as it turns out, my kingdom hates me because I haven't played this account in like three years. I'm actually going to get my favor up here, and the reason for that is because I want to start stacking up bird's eggs. I have a ton of gold on this account right now, so I figure if I can start getting bird's eggs, maybe we can actually get a piece of that evil chicken outfit. As it turns out, I had some stuff in here already, so that's an extra four nests to the collection. Very nice. Nice, that's my first drop, a uh, crystal weapon seed which should have been a new collection log slot, but I somehow already have it even though I've never done the gauntlet? What? Apparently I don't just have one, I have three. You know, I wonder if this is from back when Zolra used to drop crystal seeds before they made them into weapon and armor seeds, and I must have gotten some after th the change? I don't, I don't know, that makes no sense to me. Let me check my bank. Ah, yes. I have quite a few of these, actually. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move these into a different tab so I don't forget about them. 19! 20 now! Crystal Weapon Seeds. So, actually, these should be able to be, like, broken down into more Crystal Shards. Alright, that's good to know. Um, thank you, pre-nerf, but also post-some nerf Zolra. Quick little random event got me a Beekeeper's Hat on the way back to the Gauntlet. Yeah, there's another Elite. And there is 30 KC. I've actually been here all day for like 7 hours or something at this point just to get 30 KC, which is putting my grind into a little bit of perspective for myself, but <laughs> hopefully we get lucky, I guess. There is 40 Corrupted Gauntlet. I think I'm going to do like a few more, maybe 10 more or something, and then take a break for another activity for a little bit, just so that I don't burn out doing this. And there is 50 Corrupted Gauntlet KC and a Master Combat Task. Let's see if we get anything here. We did not, which means I'm now dry on Crystal Armor Seeds, which isn't a big deal. I need 6 of them, so by the time I get to 400 KC, I'll probably have that. And as you can see by my inventory, I've been doing birdhouse runs in between these as well every 50 minutes or so, because I'm going to need to get as many bird's eggs as possible for the future. For now though, I want to take a bit of a break and do something else, and we'll come back to Corrupted Gauntlet in a little bit. Alright, so don't look at the time, I don't want to talk about it, I may have been hitting Hispori with one of the flowers still up for an embarrassingly long amount of time. However, we should get a new collection log slot here, I believe... 
I can ever actually dig it up. There we go. An Addis Seed. Very nice. Don't have that one yet, so we'll take it. All right, guys. Prepare for some of the most riveting, high-octane PVM content you have ever ever seen me do. So I'm over here at the giant mole, the highest of high octane PVM content, to pick myself up two collection log slots guaranteed after one kill, which also completes the giant mole log since I had the pet and the pet is previously tracked. I've been a little bit overwhelmed by choice, but Pharaoh's log is looking real empty, just like most other things, so I figure maybe I'll fill in a slot or two here before we go back to doing some gauntlet. Hey, there is our first item, the Torag's Helmet. And actually, I just had a realization, oh god, I hope that went in my inventory, I guess it doesn't really matter. I had a realization that makes me want to stop doing barrows for a little bit. So something I've never done on this account, or really any account, is actually the Hollowed Sepulchre. And one of the items from here is the Strange Old Lockpick. This item makes barrows a lot faster, so I think what I'm going to do is actually hold off on doing any more barrows until I'm competent and comfortable doing Hollowed Sepulchre to be able to pull a bunch of strange old lockpicks. So for now, let's do something different. In order to shake things up a little bit, I was taking a look at some of the minigame collection log slots and realized that LMS has a ton of things that I can get from here. Now, I know that it's most efficient to save up a bunch of points and buy the most expensive stuff that is returnable first, like the halos. I don't know if I'm gonna be going straight to that, but let's see if I'm remotely decent at PvP. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> Wait! They just double deathed, and I got a. Did I get a free win out of that? <laughs> Wait, that counts as a win. I actually think that means that I get a reward here. If I go to Justine, I should be able to pick up the tier one cape for free, no points required. And that is our first collection log slot here. That's not how I expected that to end, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, this guy's just giving me a free kill. <laughs> Hey, the Terra KO. Let's fucking go, dude. Oof. Man tries to play under me. That is our third victory in LMS. And honestly, probably the least deserved one so far, but I'll take it. You know, I think I'm going to adapt a new policy called the Winter Todd policy here at LMS. Are we just... Alright, this guy tried to rush me at the end in the final two. And uh, finally, finally got my fourth win. That one took a while. We're all the way up to 96 points now. Oh, that was a close win. Nice. Good string of games today. That is, uh, I believe, win number seven now. <laughs> oh, the volatile stab. Let's go. Guess I probably should have recorded the previous fight, not this one, because this is definitely just a bot. I mean, he's even level three that somehow made it all the way to the finals, but... Oh, after a RSI-inducing little bit of time here, I'm finally pulling myself another win at LMS. It's getting a little rough here. There's a lot of bots. There's a lot of people that are just way better than me at the game. But that's win number 878 points. Oh, my hand hurts so bad. Oh, there it is. Kind of lucky, not gonna lie, but uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I needed it after this. That is win number 10. Take a quick look at the scoreboard. It took me 97 games to get 10 wins. You know what? That's like 1 in 10. That's really not that bad, so I I'm pretty okay with that. I do definitely want to take a break from this, but first things first, I do have 217 points. The first thing I would like to buy, if I can find again, is the tier 2 cape. So there is a collection log slot there. I'll probably end up getting the 50 win, maybe a 100 win one by the time we're done with the collection log here, but uh, yeah, not anytime soon. The next thing I want to do is buy stuff that I can actually sell back, and I can do that with this dead man's gear. So there is the dead man's chest. I should be able to just use this back on Justine and get not all of my points, but some of my points back. And I think I can buy one more piece. I think I'm going to be just shy of getting the, <laughs> the last one. Uh, do I really go get seven more points? You know what? I have to get seven more points. <laughs> Two HP win off the back of RNG. Turns out I decided I would actually get another win uh, instead of just another game. So that's pretty cool. I'm more than happy with that. Dead man's cape. Go ahead and grab that. Beautiful. Another collection log slot. And I'm, of course, just like everything else, going to sell it back. 
Now, I mentioned before, there are a lot of other items that I'll be able to buy and sell back here, including, I'm pretty sure, even the Gothixian Icon and all of the Halos, which are 450 points each. So instead of spending these 131 points and picking up a, you know, a bunch more free slots right now, I'd rather just save them since I'm going to have to work towards these later. After like 15 to 20 hours of LMS, I think it's time to do something that's equally stress-inducing, Corrupted Gauntlet. I might have a brain aneurysm after this video. First things first, time for another Hispori kill, and there is the final regular drop from Hispori, the Krona Seed. Now all that's left is the Bottomless Bucket. Ooh, that's a great PB. 250 Hunliff is really freaking good for me. I don't know if that's like good for normal people, but hey, 740, that's a huge slice off the previous PB, and let's see if we get a reward for it. Hey, an Elite, I'll take it. Free Collection Lock slot maybe? Hey, we actually got one. Um, I'm not going to be working on this right now, but I had to kill a Water Fiend for an Elite Clue Step, so I figured I might as well try for one of the Ancient Pages, and hey, we got lucky and got one. <sighs> I did it again. Man, I was doing so well, and I just forgot to cook my fish. I don't... <laughs> Not like I didn't have the time, I just forgot to do it. Hey, at least we got another elite there. All right, we'll take it. Still no uh, armor seed, but another elite. All right, whenever I can land another hit in here. There we go. That is 70 KC at the Corrupted Gauntlet. That one felt pretty good too. 258 Hunliff, wish I could get more runs like that. I'm definitely getting a little bit better at the tier one strat, although kind of Mithril Arrows is not really a reward. I do still die on occasion though. Uh, 70 completions, 11 deaths though. <laughs> Three of those were for getting to cook my fish. But you know what? That's a decent ratio. I'm sure it'll improve as I get a little bit more comfortable as pretty much all of my deaths are just really silly mistakes at this point. Went to eat and do some AFK amethyst mining and I realized that I'm missing a couple of things in the log here. Apparently the regular mining and expert mining gloves as well as the superior ones, which I already have, are all in the collection log. So the unidentified minerals that I'm slowly accumulating here are actually me passively working towards collection log slots. That's a win-win. Oh, hey, 74 KC, we got another Elite Clue. Another Elite Clue led me to the Water Fiends and got me another Ancient Page for the log. I'll take it, man. Hey, there we go. 76 KC, we finally get our first Armor Seed. I shouldn't say finally, because it's only like one and a half times drop rate, but, uh, you know, we expect to get a Seed every 25 or so kills because there's the weapon in the Armor Seed, so hopefully these just start flying in. I think the first thing I'm going to make is probably the body and legs since I'm frequently going to be using things like you're using the bow whenever I get it on a Slayer task, so the helm is much less important. And to kind of reiterate for those of you who might not be aware, the full crystal armor set does take six armor seeds in order to make. The body takes three, the legs take two, and the helm takes one. So at bare minimum, I would want five if I'm ignoring the helmet for now, but I'm going to want the helmet at some point anyway. There we go, that is 80 corrupted gauntlet Casey. 20 more, and then I think I'm going to call it for a little bit. Yes, more free collection log slots. Because I kiss the princess, I get a frog token, and I'm dropping it. But still, we did it. Yeah. Another elite. All right. And coming in with a fairly useless crystal weapon seed. It's got to be a PB. Got to be. Barely. <laughs> 738, though. 90 KC. All right. You know what? PB's PB. I'll take it. And, oh my god, no fucking way. Oh my god, it feels so good to get spooned on this grind. Now, I mean, I mentioned before, I do still need to get a lot more armor seeds. I cannot find the gauntlet because my brain is just not functioning. I'm like shaking right now. But getting this early is fantastic. Getting the rarest drop out of the way early is just so nice. With this enhanced crystal weapon seed, I can make a blade of Sailor. Who cares about a blade of Sailor? Or the Bofa. And obviously, I'm gonna choose to make it into a Bofa because this is gonna open a lot of doors and faster ways of killing bosses. This is gonna be amazing. Oh my god, this is exciting, man. Alright, so we go to the Singing Bowl and we make the bow. There we go, we have it. We actually have the bow. That is so insane. This thing is so incredibly strong. It's ridiculous. Now, in order to actually get it to not degrade, I have to get 2,000 crystal shards. So we'll get those periodically from doing things like Zolcano and Gauntlet. 
However, I do have all those weapon seeds from back when Zolra used to drop them. So I'm going to try and exchange those because I don't know how many crystal shards I get per weapon seed. So if I come up to Amrod up here, I can exchange all of my crystal weapon seeds. And oh, they're only 10 crystal shards each. That's actually kind of meh, but I'm not going to use them for anything anyway. So we're up to 739 crystal shards. In order to imbue the bow, though, I need 2,000. So... That's going to be something that takes a little while to get, I think. I guess for now, I just go back to the gauntlet because that's the best way to get crystal shards. I might try pickpocketing to get the enhanced teleport seeds or something at some point because I think those will be pretty decent as well. Hey, look at that. 97 KC, we pull ourselves the second crystal armor seed. Beautiful. One more hit here. Any day now. Alright, come on then. This is just a little awkward now. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, just sit at 2 HP. Alright, there we go. That is 100 KC at the Corrupted Gauntlet. I'm getting really comfortable here now, actually. Uh, first of all, I did get an Elite Clue on the last one. I'll do that in a minute here. And uh, not a bad way to wrap it up, though. Let's go ahead and check the board, see what our stats are looking like. 100 to 15. I did have some really cheesed deaths, but you know what? That's a pretty... That's a pretty good ratio, I would say. The thing I got lucky is obviously the understatement of the year. I am super, super happy that we actually got this bow. We only have 800 crystal shards, but we did get two armor seeds as well, which is smack on the right now, so we caught back up on that too. And I think in the next episode, I'm going to work on actually getting this thing fully imbued so that we can uh, never have to worry about recharging it again. I did pack this episode full of a lot of content, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you're enjoying this series. A lot of you can probably tell I am going to be pre-recording it a little bit, so I apologize if some of the stuff might be changing a little bit. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Make sure you leave a like if you do. It's very much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody, and have a fantastic rest of your day.